Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Niambi. If you're new here, most of you are new here because I'm still new here. Welcome. <laughs> um, and thank you for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this look for New Year's Eve. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. But before you keep on watching, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you every time I post. And if you like this New Year's Eve look, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into this look. All right, so I'm just gonna put my hair back. My grandma watches my videos and she told me that I should show people how I do my brows. So I'm gonna get started with doing my brows. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in shade black. So how I do my brows is I start by outlining the brow. On the top, I don't go all the way like I did on the bottom. I start maybe like right here and then I outline. Then I use the spoolie to lift it up. So I outline like so. It's a lot and then I spoolie the product through the brow which is why I love brow pencils that have a spoolie on them and then in any areas that I feel like it needs it I will go through and add product to any of the sparse areas and then I'm gonna leave the front just kind of like this so I'm gonna just do the same exact thing on the other side okay and then to carve them out I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer. And this is just in the pot. I like concealers in the pot to carve out my brows because I feel like they're a little bit thicker in consistency. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on like a dome brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna place a little bit right there. And then I'm just gonna carve them out. And then I'll pull this down a little bit to blend out a little bit more. But once I have it to the desired shape, I'm just gonna do the same thing on the top. So my grandma was the one who was like, you need to show people how you do your brows because they look so good. So shout out to my grandma for one, watching my videos, my whole entire family. Shout out to my whole family for watching my videos and supporting. And if you liked watching me do my brows, you can thank my grandma in the comments. And then I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So this is how it turns out. I'm gonna go in with this Flawless Concealer Brush. This is actually how I blend this in. This is from Elf. And then I'll just go and blend this concealer out. And that's it. That is all that I do for my brows. So I'm just gonna go and do a little dab of Tarte Shape Tape. I have been trying to prime my eyelids with like actual eyeshadow primer, but I really just feel like concealer works better for me. And that's about it. So I just blended the concealer out and I'm gonna go in for today's look with the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. This palette gets so much love from me, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna start with Act of Fool. I'm going for like a purpley, glittery look. And I'm just gonna place that down with a fluffy blending brush all over in the crease. I might go in with a smaller brush. Yeah, this is a better brush for what I'm going for. You wanna be careful with this color because if you do too much or go in too much at once, it can look extremely muddy in certain areas. So I'm finding that like right here in this area, I went in too much with the shadow and now it looks a little muddy. So I'm just gonna try to like fix that, blend it out a little bit. Bam, that's it. I am then gonna go in with that same brush with the darker taboo shade. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna focus this like in my outer V and then also up into the crease. I 
And I'm just taking a clean blending brush to blend it all out. So I didn't do too much with that taboo shade, just darkened it up slightly. And then I'm just gonna go in with the rumored with my finger first, and then go in with the brush on the areas that need it. All right, now I'm going in with the brush to shape that a little better. I'm gonna take a smaller brush, go back into that taboo shade, and just blend this out a little bit more. You wanna be careful though, because that shimmer will literally blend into the taboo shade, so. And that's it, but that's not all. That's it for this palette. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow glitter in the shade Disco Queen. And I'm just gonna take some out and place it on my hand and pick it up with a brush. So this is what it looks like on my hand. And I'm just literally going to move it over everywhere where I put that rumored shade to give us a little more extra pizzazz for the new year. You could just um, use the applicator to apply the glitter but if you want to be more precise, and also if you want to keep your applicator clean, this is a better option. And voila! It's pretty. I like it, it's extra. I forgot to put earrings on. I will put them on at the end of this. Now I'm gonna do some liner, and I recently picked up this Essence 24 Hour Ink Liner in Intense Black, and it's bomb. So I'm just gonna do a small little wingy for this look. This liner is so good if you're like looking to be precise. Also, it's like $3, so you literally cannot go wrong. Okay, so now that we got our wings on, I'm gonna pop some eyelashes on off camera. And these are the e.l.f. Foam Ink Drama Clean Lashes. We're gonna get into complexion and prime the skin using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer because I want the foundation to adhere to my skin and to last all day or night whenever you're gonna celebrate so and that primer is on, it's tacky. We're gonna go in with the Maybelline Super Stay. I'm gonna go in with a new sponge. Well, not new, but I haven't used it in a while. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I was like obsessed with this sponge until I discovered the Haley's Beauty Sponge. Recently, I found it again in my vanity. I think it's like five or six dollars, depending on where you buy it. And it's still bomb, still bomb. I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite Tarte Shape Tape in the shade, which shade is this? Medium Tan Sand. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. I saw this um, on TikTok, like a hack to make your face look lifted. Not to do the triangle, but to do like a little bit here and then a little bit of your concealer going up, just like so. Also, my mom watches my videos and tells me that I use too much makeup, so maybe this is using less. I feel like for this, I kind of want to go back to Haley's. I have it right here. So I'm just going to blend this out. I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose while I have it on my sponge. I don't feel like I see a huge difference with this concealer hack, but we tried something new, so. Now before I forget, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is like literally the only eyebrow gel that I use. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Haley's Beauty powder, and I ended up buying more of this. They had a 50% off sale for Christmas, so I got more. Like, 
who are we? That powder is so good. If you don't have it, go get it. And then I think I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder, shade three tan. I'm just gonna place this everywhere else. A little bit overlapping. I have been using Retinol, CeraVe Retinol Serum for my dark spots and I think we found something that's gonna work. Hopefully we get rid of these dark spots in 2021. What are your goals for 2021? Let me know down below in the comments what you want to accomplish in 2021. I think I'm just gonna go in with Power Bronzer and the Essence, my fave. Um, powder bronzer. Literally got another Fenty Beauty brush and I forgot to take it out of my new makeup drawer for this. So this is the Nazanin Kavari brush. I don't know why I don't feel like I look bronze. Mm. I'm gonna go in with this Milani Silky Matte bronzer in the shade suntan and see if that gives us a little bit more color yeah I think that helped a little bit I'm gonna go in with the essence of the fitting blush and take this wet and wild brush and just lightly on the apples on my cheeks and bring it up a little And I'm gonna go over it with my sponge. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the shade Hustle Baby. This is the Kilowatt. I feel like I need more. So I'm gonna go in with the Physician's Formula Champagne Butter Highlighter with my finger. And just top it. That is a New Year's Eve highlight. That is what we want for New Year's Eve. Extra. Now we're gonna finish off the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with Act of Fool, the purple shade, so we can emphasize the purple a little bit. And bam, and now last but not least, we're gonna go in with some new lip products from Dose of Color. So this is the lip liner. Well, I thought it was a lip liner, but now that I'm looking at it, it says eyeliner. We're gonna use it as a lip liner though. And this is in the shade Pearl Gray. so weird because like when I went um, online to see like which liners match with which lipsticks this match perfectly with the lipstick so maybe it's like a lip eyeliner deal I don't know that's weird it was definitely in the lip liner section at Ulta oh well we're gonna go in with this liquid matte lipstick from Dose of Color in the shade Play It Cool I love how it looks together and with the eyes. I love it. And then we're just gonna set the face with a fix plus. And that's it. I can finally put my earrings on. I'm one of those people who feel like I'm not complete without my earrings or I don't look as good without my earrings, so I can't believe I made it through a whole video without earrings on. This is the completed look. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you like this look, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you every time I post. 
and thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys have a great new year's eve and i will see you next year bye